Good morning. This is day four of our trip, and uh, I think we're going to stay in Boise one more day. Um, just kind of check out some more, relax a little bit, and then head on tomorrow. But we were walking in the hotel, and this is what I saw. Crazy. They have an ice rink in the hotel. I don't know who plays here. <laughs> <laughs> it's too cool. Literally, it's off the lobby of the hotel. Crazy. Because here's the hotel lobby. Here's Michael. And it's sitting in the lobby. Did not expect that. Did you expect that? Very unexpected. Okay, we gotta go load up the car and head to another hotel. Hopefully one has a cooler room. This room got kinda hot last night, so. We're gonna try to go to a new hotel across the street. So, and then maybe lunch and I don't know what, so. Okay, you think you like Costa Vida? Yeah. Third time? Michael? How's the sweet tacos? Good. Second time, I didn't have it. You guys had it again? We've got it twice here. From once for me. Oh, maybe it's the third time we visited Casa. All right, gonna eat now. Okay, so we changed hotels. We were at the Grove, um, and uh, we only had two nights there. We're gonna stay a third night um, in Boise, and the Grove's, the room did not get that cold. So we're here at the Hampton Inn in downtown Boise, which hopefully is gonna be cooler. The room already feels cooler, but for now we're gonna go check out another museum, the Idaho State Museum, I believe. So uh, actually, let's park and walk. It's right across the street. All right, so this is where we're staying now. Staying right here. Before we were staying there at the Grove. So we just moved down. Hopefully it's cooler. It felt cooler in the room already, but that was the biggest thing. It was a nice hotel. The room was kind of small, but it was just humid and warm in that room. And it just wasn't pleasant at night. So we think that the Idaho State Museum is right up here. So that's where we're going to go to next. Michael thinks he's got it tracked down. How far down? Next building? That one right there, maybe? Okay, it was. Here's our hotel right there. And here it is, the Idaho State Museum, which comes with high regards from our friends we had dinner with last night. So we are gonna check it out. There's also an art museum across the way. Don't go too fast, you know, we get hurt. Yes, one for one. Two for two. Three for three. Four for four, we got this. Five for five. Oh. And these are switched. Oh, we missed those two. I think we got the 70s. Yeah, bow bottoms. Total 80s. And then minus. Cool, well, I missed two. That's pretty cool. Take them off for someone else to do. Back in the east, what'd you think? That was good. It's a good museum. I thought it was good, good inter interactive exhibits. And... We need more interactive exhibits. Oh, wait, it's COVID. 
No, they actually let you do things even though it was COVID. So, Some of them were just out of order. It wasn't even that. A couple were, but pretty good. I mean, if you're going to be in Boise, I would definitely come see the Idaho State Museum. So yeah. it's hot. Uh, I think we're going to head back to the hotel because it's, it's warm. I don't know how warm it is. It's a load off. Yeah, for sure. All right. Oh, so after the museum, we headed back to the room and had a nice... After the museum, we headed back to... After the museum, we headed back to the room and had a nice, restful afternoon. Um, yeah, it's like storms coming in. That's an interesting building. So now we're going to go get some food. And we saw a place called Coned Pizza. It's a pizza cone that we're going to go to. In 500 feet, your destination and after your that, home. we're going to get some chip cookies. Yep. And then head back and maybe even go for a swim in the hotel pool. We tried to swim the other night in the pool at the Grove, and they told us it was closed. They said it closed at 8 or 8.30, but it looked like it was um, a spa pool, like a lap pool, not a pool you can just get in and relax. Okay. Yeah, like you're supposed to get in and do laps, not just get in and relax. Sorry, you're supposed to get in and do laps, not just get in and relax. So this one looks like it is a fun, relaxed pool because they got like a kid thing there too. So we can do that. Then tomorrow we are confirmed, I believe, that we're leaving for Twin Falls. 90% confirmed. We shall see. All right, Michael, let's find coned pizza. Oh, sorry, up here. It's up here on the left. Let me find parking. Parking? No. No parking. Michael, would you put this on the car dash? We had to pay for parking. Only $5, which is not bad for downtown. Although I wonder if I could have parked over there for free since it's after 6, but I don't know. All right, coned pizza is over there. Oh, it is hot. It is you've never had pizza like this before michael i actually haven't you have no there's something like at a disneyland grant a california adventure and right, see what they got so it's already made dough and then you just fill it and cook it yeah wow are you guys like a chain or no no just your own it's mostly owned there's a location in meridian and then two food trucks you think it's like, uh, it's almost like the specialty oven though. I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. pretty good. Not too much food either, but mm, tasty. I got some cream beer too. Mm -hmm. All right, eat up. That was good. Do you agree? What do you think? Yeah, that was good. If you ever get a chance to have a coned pizza, I'd do it. It was good. It was yummy. All right, now we're gonna go get chips. Chip? Chip cookie. Chip cookie. Okay, we've now arrived at Chip, which I'm not sure if it's going to be like, um, it, it can't be as good as, what's ours called? Go get it. No, I won't. It can't be as good as ours in Chico, but. Crumble. Crumble. But they're open as late, so we'll see. Thank you. Yep. Da, da, da. Hello. It kind of looks like it. How you guys doing? Good. Yeah. Mm. Well, good morning. It is day five, and uh, whew, that was a tough night's sleep. Uh, had a heat wave in Boise, and it's been. 105, 102, kind of depends on who you talk to. 
And these hotels downtown, um, these high-rise hotels have these air conditioners just, they can't keep up with the heat. In fact, yesterday, um, we cooled the room down initially, but by 10, 11 o'clock at night, it was already starting to get warm. And I think we all woke up about four o'clock when it was just warm. Could not get comfortable, so. Not a great night's sleep, that's for sure. Everybody else is back in the hotel sleep, but I'm gonna head over to the supercharger and charge up. Woke up this morning, 47% uh, state of charge. The last time we charged was on Wednesday. Um, when we went to the trip out to Nampa for the museum and the mini golf and whatnot. Um, so over the last two days, driving around a little bit around town and actually making a trip to Nampa and back we're sitting at 47%. I want to charge up fully today. The plan is to go to Twin Falls, check out the Niagara Falls of the West. And then after that, we plan on going to Pocatello, Idaho. And I think that's where we're going to stay for the night. We haven't got room in either place. So if we see something that's really cool at Twin Falls, then we'll stay at Twin Falls. Um, otherwise, that's the plan. Hopefully it's cooler today, saying this could be in the 90s instead of the 100s, so hopefully that works. And hopefully we can get a hotel that's not a high-rise hotel, that's got one of those little air conditioning units on the back wall. <laughs> I have not, I have not uh, loved in the past, but I can't wait to turn one of those on, crank it up, and leave it on all night and get that car, the house cooled down, because it was hot. It was so hot last night, I even thought about coming out to the car and sitting in the car <laughs> to cool off. So that's where I'm headed now to the supercharger. I'll get there. We'll look and see what state of charge. Um, it is a 150, as you noticed in the other video. So we'll see what kind of speeds we pull. And I think I'm gonna try to find like a Target or a Walgreens or get some more travel sundries while I'm waiting for it to charge. So that's where I'm headed to and see you at the supercharger. Okay, we got here with 44% state of charge. Uh, we were preconditioning because I did enter the uh, destination so I can use the navigator on autopilot to not miss any energies. So let me go get plugged in and we'll see what we're pulling. All right. 43% I would not expect to pull a ton on a 150 at 43. 35 minutes the limit set. I had set it at 90. It's probably good if I need to bump it up more. I think I'm going to try to find, like I said, some place where I can get some sundries. Not too bad. I'm happy with that. I'm at 24 kilowatts per hour at a 43% state of charge. Not too shabby. All right. I'm going to go run and get some sundries and I'm going to come right back. So I don't know if I talked about what was at the supercharger in Boise. Um, there's a Walmart and a Lowe's. Actually, the Walmart's a little further away than the Lowe's. Lowe's is right next door. Quite a few places around. That was the Mexican place we went to and a couple others. It's actually in the hotel parking lot for Oxford Suites. So no Target, but did have a Walmart that had what I wanted. So that's good. So now I'll head back and see where we're at. Get back to the hotel, collect the family and the luggage, and head on out. But ooh, first, Starbucks. Gonna have to get a Starbucks. Well, this is a first. I'm at 85%, still 10 minutes left. I came back, and it was a little bit of a walk to get to, to, to Walmart. Came back, put stuff in the trunk, washed the windshield, washed the back shield, windshield, <laughs> the, back, the back glass. And I still got 10 minutes left to go. So let me see what it looks like to get to Twin Falls. See if we should just pull and go. So we're going to Twin Falls. Twin Peaks, Twin Falls, I know. says we're gonna get there with 26. So I'm gonna wait a little longer because I've gotta go back to the hotel to get the family. And it is hot, so I'm sure it's gonna be running the air when I'm loading up. I don't think they'll be ready to closer to 10, so and I gotta hit a Starbucks. So I think I'll sit here and get up to 90, you know. 
Worst case scenario, I could always drive slower um, to make it there, but I'd like to maybe have about 30% at this point, 30-ish. Um, then I'll have a buffer for getting back to the hotel, loading up, getting Starbucks, and getting there. Uh, probably gonna have to charge when we get to Twin Falls. I'm probably not gonna be able to pass that up. That is the next supercharger on the way. So gonna go with some uh, friends, family friends to the falls, but we will probably have to charge up first, so. Okay, play some Polytopia got to 99%. And plug. Looks like we are here less than an hour. Right, almost an hour. I'll have to go back and see how long it really took. But oh, boom, bumped me up to 100%. So it's interesting. I haven't seen a ton of Teslas in Idaho, but I saw. Quite a few looks like staying at the Oxford. Um, so I definitely think it helps having a supercharger so close to the hotel. If we didn't want to be downtown, that would have been a definite option for us, but we wanted to kind of be downtown where the action was. So now I need to find a Starbucks somewhere around here, hopefully. One thing I don't like when I try to enter something in like I was trying to enter Starbucks and I wanted to go to one that was on my way, but it kept wanting to give me one that was behind me. So I'm hoping they really come out with the multiple waypoints when they come out. Finally, with the Christmas update, which we were supposed to get so long ago, um, because then we could enter a destination like, okay, I wanna go here, but then I could find a interim waypoint for a Starbucks that's on the way. So I don't know, we'll see, hopefully. Shouldn't be that hard to figure out, but it just seems like it is. So, all right, gonna head back and load up. Good morning. So now I've got Starbucks. It's almost gone. Michael, you got your Starbucks? Nah, no, I'm doing that. You finished it. We are leaving Boise. Heading to Mountain Home where we're gonna meet up with some friends and then on to Twin Falls and actually Shoshone Falls. Um, hopefully it's cooler today. It's already 82 degrees, but nice inside the car. But man, it's just, it's been a hot couple of days. Just blue. so. Uh, looks like we're gonna take 84. We are leaving Boise with 95% state of charge. Took about four or 5% to get from the charger there. and get my Starbucks and all of that good stuff. So we had the air running when we were loading up the car. So hopefully cooler weathers and some interesting things to see. So let's go to Mountain Home. Okay, so we have 76% state of charge. When we get there, we're only gonna have 30, whatever that is, 38. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge up at the supercharger first before heading to the fall. So we've got plenty of battery power. I don't wanna have to worry this afternoon about having to run back to the supercharger. So 
that's the plan. We're gonna charge up and then head to the falls. So this is called Thousand Springs, this area, because there's literally thousands of springs along that far canyon wall, and they're all coming out in waterfalls. And this is just some of the ones we've seen as we've been driving by. There's some more over here. Just amazing, these springs just coming out of nowhere, creating these beautiful waterfalls. Super cool them all along for quite a ways. Okay, we're in the town of Buell. I think it's Buell. B-U-H-L. I'm going to say Buell. Still making good progress. The car still keep wants us to turn off and go back on 84, but I think she's finally given up and now is gonna let us take 30 all the way to Twin Falls. And she's telling us, I don't know that fit. 35% state of charge when we get into Twin Falls. So not bad, all little detour took us about five extra uh, percent, but not bad, so got to see some really cool things. That Thousand Springs was really cool. So we're going to keep heading and head to the supercharger. We're 
Right, so we're coming into Twin Falls. Took a detour, didn't go the way she wanted to. We're gonna take 84, which I think is uh, somewhere out there. Uh, we got 74 miles still to go based on the last 30 miles. We're gonna get there with 33% state of charge. It says, I think originally it was 40, but that was taking 84 all the way in, and we definitely did a detour on Highway 30. Saw some stuff, stopped a couple of times, so. Pull in, charge up, and then I think we're gonna head to the falls. I just want to top off so we have freedom for the rest of the day to do whatever we want to do. So we'll see you at the supercharger. Okay, so we took the stop before the supercharger. We saw Culver's, and we love Culver's from our last trip to the Midwest. So we are gonna go in and get ourselves a butter burger and some ice cream. I think they don't they don't call it ice cream here, though. They call it. Um, concrete, I think, or whatever. So, going to Culver's. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. There's the superchargers. I see the superchargers in the back. Oh, right by the bridge in the river? That's what Jody said. I'll get some use of this with the camera. This is their phone. No, it's the snake river, right? At your destination. Ooh, we should get the wet cloth tray, the wet cloth tray. So I got a cloth out of the back, got it wet from the ice chest to keep it cooler because it's hot. And let's see what we're going to be pulling here. So it says 50 minutes to get up to 100%, but I don't want to go 100%. So I'm going to set the charging limit down to 90. And let's see, we got 35 minutes to get to 90. So big difference going from 90 to 100 is another 20 minutes. So we'll go ahead and let that charge up. Go check out the Snake Canyon and maybe the visitor center. So this is not um, not a whole lot here, right here. There's a visitor center, there's the Snake River Canyon, and there's some stores around the back of us. So let's go check it out. So nothing super close. There is a Petco some stores over there no real food there's an outback steakhouse there and across the street looks like there's some more food within walking distance but over here the twin falls visitor center which we'll check out first i want to check out this view of the snake river and this bridge i guess a lot of people base jump off this river or bungee jump i'm not sure so let's go check it out Okay, it's really windy, but this is an amazing view I had to show everybody. What do you think, Heather? Is that pretty amazing or what? Yes. Michael, are you impressed yeah. by the size of that river? Yeah. Oh, there's a team down there. Yeah, it looks like some kind of cave. I love that golf course. It's just an amazing golf course. Yeah. Look at the rapids up there further, a little further too. Oh, the whole thing is... How do you get down there? Oh, the road over here. There's a road over there. Well, that's to get to that golf course. This wasn't here last time I was here. Wow. Because the falls are up there this way. Amazing. We got a stagecoach in here. Green stagecoach. Just showing Twin Falls Rock Creek Station. Contact Nevada. Information on the river. Trails of Valley. 
A lot of information. Oh, we've been there, Michael. Do you remember Craters of the Moon? Yeah. You were pretty young when we went there. So I was talking to the guy in there, um, Evil Knievel, which I'm seeing, did his Snake River Canyon jump attempt. He actually didn't get across because when his rocket went up, his rocket slid, the parachute opened early and he ended up landing at the base of the canyon on the same side that he took off. But up here, oh, there's even a sign here, hold on. I got a sign about it. Attempted a mile long leap on the Snake River Canyon on September 8th, I for enjoying a unique sky cycle a large dirt ramp is visible approximately two miles east of this point on the south ridge of the canyon so let's go around this way i'll show you you can still see it from here okay so that dirt ramp right there is the ramp he used to try to get across he was taking off from this, this side south side trying to go to the north because like, he never made it he landed at the base of the canyon on the south side because his parachute opened too early that's kind of a cool piece of history and then over here here's that bridge holy cow it's more a view of the snake river in this amazing canyon this is a pretty cool bridge too all right let's see if the car is done charging Looks like this bridge was finished in 1976 at a cost of 9.7 million dollars and replaced another bridge that had been built in 1927 for 650 so that's a pretty expensive bridge but <laughs> that engineering looks pretty amazing all right sorry now back to the car distracted slightly Hopefully we're almost done. We got like five minutes left. Oh wow, that's almost dry, but it definitely the the cord is hot to the touch here, so it kept it cool. Something I learned from a couple of YouTubers I watch. One is uh, Kyle Thought of Spec Motoring, and then Brandon Flash with uh, EV Nomad. That the if it gets too hot and it's 100 degrees there, if the handle gets too hot, it'll actually thermal throttle the charging unit down. So by putting the wet rag or the cool wet rag on the handle, it'll keep the charging rate up. You won't get thermal throttled. And it doesn't look like we did because then we got five minutes left to get to 90%. So it was a pretty fast charging session, even for a 150. So these are definitely Peter V2 150s. So so not too shabby. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, I don't remember what time we started, but we're at 90% charging complete, so let's go unplug and then head on. But we're pretty good. Still wet, so it's a great way to keep the hand on the handle. It's still the handle's still cool to the touch. So I'm gonna put this in the back. Tell our friends are ready to go. They're over there looking at the signs, it looks like, so. Okay, so there are a couple of restaurants. There's a Dick's Sporting Goods. There's a Bed Bath & Beyond. There's, looks like some kind of fast food over here. Outback, Johnny Carlino's? Carino's Country Italian. And then across the way, there's an IHOP. Starbucks. Starbucks. Oh, and there's the Magic Valley Mall right across from the uh, supercharging. But that, the visitor center is really cool. I definitely recommend if you're stopping there to visit the visitor center and check out the bridge and the Snake River. So now we're going to take a back road because our friends know a back road to get to the Shoshone Falls. So we're going to follow them and see where they take us.